he was caught stealing from me. Just a second. Were you trying to lock him out? He was caught, yes. That the answer is yes. Yes. Without evicting him. Yes, I was told your, by the police no, department. You can't tell me what the police department okay. told you. Okay. That's hearsay, okay. and I don't believe it. I understand. Just so that you know, once you have a tenant, if you're having problems with the tenant, you have to go through an eviction process. You can't just change the doors and the locks. You can't resort to self-help. And it's not something that the police would ever tell you if you said, I have a tenant that I want out who's paying their rent. They would never say to you, change the locks on them. They just wouldn't do it. Right. Okay. Now, I'll see your video. This shows how much damage he was doing and, and the violence. And all the, he was bringing in, my business was in my, was in my house and he was not allowed to bring in any people at all because. You have to evict them. That's the girl stealing my necklace that he went in my bedroom and got, apparently, according to the paper oh, wow. right here. That's the girl that was stealing my bank statements with him. That's her taking a bag full of my stuff, leather and the hardware. Uh, that's my studio. And see how heavy the bag is? It's filled with a lot of heavy belts, buckles, and stuff like that. Bringing in people that are scary that nobody's allowed in my house at all because of my business, and that is not even a girl or a guy. I don't know what that is. This is him knocking over my security cameras so that he can steal more from me. Look at how violent he is. He's vicious. Look at him. Look, see? <laughs> That's what he did every day to my cameras. He's finally busted them. And the guy that's walking out the door also has some of my stolen property that he took out of my office. I haven't. I belts. I'm wearing both my leather belts. He's probably wearing one of my belts right now. There goes my pool stick out the door. That's not funny. That's not funny. I'm not amused. It's not funny. Well, then why did you appear to be enjoying it? Uh, I'm not. I mean, the look of it is that you were stealing her property and damaging her property, sir. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like. Actually, that's also what it looks like to everybody out there watching, including Officer Bird. So why would you think that that's amusing? I'm not laughing at all. Good. I'm actually... You're responsible for all of that. That... Can I explain that video? The first person in that video is not even me. And that last one is me when I'm moving out of the apartment. Are you telling me that the person that I saw trying to break the security cameras wasn't you? No, that's I'm me turning play. the camera. <laughs> that's me turning the camera. Absolutely. Where was your room? Third floor. And who were those women that you had in the house with jewelry? That's not me in that first video. I'd like to take a look at it. Can look I see it, it again? Well, it wasn't her, and you're the only two people that live there. So if she didn't bring somebody in, that means somebody... Yeah, there were no girls... Nobody was allowed in my house. <laughs> Looks like you to me. <laughs> How many it is? Okay. <laughs> I'm still... I'm not taking anything from her. Uh -huh. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000, you counterclaims dismissed. We're done. <laughs> Parties are excused, you may step out. Oh, it was wonderful because everything he said was wrong. She got evicted from that place because she harassed me so much and she called the police so much. He was stealing from me. He was stealing all my bit, my leather, men's leather belts that I custom made. She threw all my stuff out on the front lawn when she illegally evicted me. No more roommates. Don't ever have a roommate. I left the state because she's harassed me so much. That's all, all I gotta say. Cats. <laughs>